Okay, so we'll start on the line of Yinshi'i Orotzin. This is approximately eight lines from the beginning of Lohovin. After the parentheses, then we'll maybe go back. We're talking about oil in soap. And we said that in everything there is the, the Atzmius and the Hispashtus. The Atzmius does not have a name. What's the significance of a name? It does not have an identifiable presence. The, pr- the principle of a name is, as we said, <coughs> that a name means that this entity is recognizable in its presence or in its absence. Because it is a, a, a universal entity, it, a, a, a thing that something that is that exists in the in the bigger big picture. It is not the thing that is true only to itself. This is even a name. A baby is born one of the first things that we do is give it a name. <coughs> when a baby is born, we celebrate as a great, great simcha. The simcha is in the fact that that this baby is expanding, is building the big world. This baby is not just an and a, a person who is going to enjoy some ice cream. He's going to contribute and become part of the big human human uh, uh, reality. <coughs> and he's going to expand and build in the human reality, the human ambitious world. And this is signified by a name. Naming a baby is a very, very significant, very important thing. He said, a, a girl, you name it by a potato. A boy, you mean doing the bris, because that's when he becomes a member of, of the Jewish people. The ispastus that comes from the essence, and we explain the whole phenomenon, that everything that that results from the essence is actually initiated by the essence. The essence is what gives it a true presence. (coughs) The essence itself, and we we have said this many times, we have to re-emphasize and recognize. This is not an easy thing. It also always eludes us. The essence is the actual presence of the Creator Himself. Only the Creator can provide an essence. Like we always repeat from the Rambam, that there is a first being. The implication of a first being is <coughs> that his being, his presence, is the true presence, is a true presence. It's not preceded by anything else. It is a presence that is true due to its own truth. That is present due to its own truth. This truth, true presence, creates everything, every other presence. This is why everything, the world appears to us, seems to me just to be a a fundamental reality. It is due to the fact that this true presence created the world. He gives it a right of being. So 
this presence has no name because because it does not have it's not identifiable outside of itself. Its presence is not due to its effect. It is the first presence of presence due to itself. And then from this true presence comes what's called his pastus. How this true presence he allows itself to be identified and be effective um, on, on, on the outside. In this is pastus, there you can start, you can give it a name. What is this pastus about? So this says that, that, that the first level of naming is, you call it a rotsing. Rotsing means that he expresses, he reveals the principle that that you, you, there is a significance in being. That's Rotsing. He reveals that there is significance in being. This is already a revelation from the earth. That in itself it doesn't even have that type of expression. Okay, let's I said let's go to after the parentheses. The chain ho bibhinas oir. This is also true in the aspect of Oir relative to Shafa. Oir is is a, 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 the, the effect of the presence of an Etzim. So in describing Oir we say like this, the Be'etzim that in essence who bibchinas ayin? Ah, finally. In essence, is is in in is is, is in ayin. Bibchinas ayin means there is no tangible identity there. U bibchinas pshitus legamri. And in the Pshitus aspect, Lagamri means totally. There is not a color, there is not an identifiable mark in oil. And it is not Bibhina Shaikhus. Has an no aspect of Shaikhus of relating Lushum Dover to anything. This is the principle of Oir. So we discussed Oir and eventually we'll think into it, we'll, we'll recognize the, the, the phenomenal purity of that which is called Oir. be his pastus and then there is the his pastus element of the oil where he spreads forth and at the end lets himself himself be known then he is in a state of shaykhus of relating to something he is an identical presence who paled over, and then he, he, he has the aspect that he paled over, that he can affect something, create something. (laughs) 
אבל הוא לא בבחינת תפיסה ואיסלאפשוס. Despite the fact that it has an effect, this effect is not bibchines tfiso, is not in a manner of tfiso of being engaged in, in the effect, vislapsus or of focusing in on it. Let's continue, finish this whole presentation, then we'll see what we can bring closer to us. Vahaino, which means to say, why is it not between a species of Islapshus? Why is it the effect of Oyer without it being engaging in this, in creating this effect? Haino, this is Lefi, because Shebe'et Semehuse, that in its essence, what it stands for, what its presence represents, who rag bibchines gil or mino etz. Be'et semehuse, it is only a statement, not about its own presence, but about the etzim. It's a gil, bibchines gil mi etzim. It's a statement of the etz, not of its own presence. Or Bikinas Ayin. And thus it is in Bikinas Ayin. The oil is, is, is present, present not due to its own identity to its own effect it is it is in saying that there is an atom over here this is what oil is and the muscle that we use as many muscle the closest to us the one that we can more readily relate to and understand he is a human being. A human being is present. He doesn't have to say anything, doesn't have to do anything. His presence already has an impact. And the impact is, is universal. Like we said, the person goes into his home, he is instantaneously present in the entire home, no matter how large the, the home is. Because this presence is representative to the essence, to, the, to his essence, the human mino It's a statement that he is here, not, not that, he is, that his presence, that the, his effect is here. The effect is an ayin element. I'm going back to the end of the line that begins with the word upeil dover, upeil dover. At the end of the line, vahaino, which means to say, one, what we want to emphasize over here about oil is this. Lefi, <coughs> due to the fact, that in the essence of his presence, the reality of the soil, who rak, what gives it reality, is only this, bebechines gilu minoetz, it is not a reality that speaks of itself. It's a reality that speaks about its source. Gila Minuet. And therefore it is Bibhina's eye. Completely self-effacing. Does not have a tangible presence of its own. Because that this is that the essence of this of this oil 
היא דת גילו מנו עצם, הנה, and therefore, גם ביספשוס שלו היא, even when it is ביספשוס, which means it is reaching to far um, um, out, who בבחינס עין, it still, it is, in, it, it reaching out is in an iron manner. It does not displace anything. It does not identify itself as a presence. Its presence is omnipresent in an iron man. This iron concept, which we discussed several times already, it's a phenomenal concept. And I just want to refresh it in our minds. This is something which is of extreme importance for us to recognize and to actually acclimate. The difference between a house and a home. Physically, they're exactly identical. A house does not provide any kind of accommodation. It does not say, you're welcome over here. A home says, you're welcome over here. It sets no limits whatsoever. But it gives, it, it provides this I and this, this sense of a reality. It's iron, but this is an iron representing reality. Gilu min ho'etz. Completely different statement and a totally different experience. And this is the shot. That's a beginning sign of beginning pshitus legamri. What pshitus? Pshitus means it does not identify itself. It is not giving the support because of 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 its quality of its of, of what it identif- identifies with. Because the real support comes not from the oil but from the etzem from which the oil comes from. The atom is omnipresent and the atom is omni welcoming. Accepts everything, supports everything. The oil is representative of this atom. This is why the oil comes in a pshitus manner, not to, us- not to usurp, so to speak, the effect of the etzim. He is only saying, I'm here because the etzim is here. The pshitus. That's an, um, I want uh, one more point here that maybe will alleviate some of the difficulties that come up in our minds because of our experiences, of our worldly view. The etzem allows for everything because the etzem cannot possibly be affected, be limited, be usurped.
Therefore, the Yatsam is near Pshitu. The Yatsam is totally without any concern, so to speak, of itself and who is going to utilize its presence. The Oir retains is the, is the gilu of that etzer. The welcoming aspect that in the oil is not because you are welcome, but because the oil welcomes everything. Is Ipshitas, which means the oil is not identifying what it is welcoming. It is welcoming everything. Because by its essence it is welcoming. This is why, if we can bring this home, this is why in our world. There is toy vera, good and evil. Evil is not representative of the oiraliki. And yet evil can, can flourish. And it is by recognition of what way this is what this is all about that we we we, we have the evil we, we restrain itself. And we ultimately clean up the, the reality from the evil. We have a mitzvah to keep ourselves clean from evil, keep ourselves pure from tumor and so forth. But tumor is possible because Alakus is shaking and is present everywhere. And it is our privilege and our duty to keep the place for Shina pure. And all that is accomplished in a Pshitus man, because that is the fundamental reality. All right, so this is where the line begins, our begin is Gil Mino Etzer. And we'll start to meet him next time in the middle of that line, or toward the end, toward the second half of that line. Okay.